he looks like Morty's in high spirits this morning. Good thing he's not aware of his impending predicament. Then he turned into a loaf. But we got parsley. A friend from the winery gave the bunnies fresh parsley from her garden. Parsley is high in oxalic acid, so I don't give them parsley every day. Let me wash it. Hold on. When we have a lot of parsley, I feed them few times a week. I washed it, and it's now ready for the bunnies okay. to enjoy. Fresh parsley from garden. Gordon fresh parsley, but look at Morty stuffing his face again. Morty, you put a lot in your mouth. He did it with cilantro the <laughs> other day. Morty put a lot of parsley in his mouth. It looks like they are really enjoying the parsley. <laughs> they like it. The bunnies are starting to shed now. Cinnamon buns especially in need of brushing. I think they really like it. I wanted to go outside with the bunnies to observe the solar eclipse, but Cinnamon bun was like this, so I couldn't disturb her. I heard that some animals may get confused and act like it's nighttime. It did become a little darker as the moon started to cover the sun. Apparently, intelligent animals may stare at the sun and damage their corneas. I wore a welding hood when viewing the eclipse. Hopefully, our neighbors didn't see me. The dogs didn't look at the sun. I don't think they noticed anything different. The moment the moon completely covered the sun, it didn't get as dark as I expected. It was pretty dark in the house, so I turned on the lights. I'm 99% sure the bunnies didn't notice anything different. But who knows? I found an Asian pear at Trader Joe's. It's a common fruit in Japan. It's safe for the bunnies to dry. Has anyone tried Asian pear before? Okay, just tiny pieces. What is right there? Okay. What a come on. What a come on. Okay. One each. Would you try? Would you try? Oh. Okay. Oh, Papa, no. Did he eat it? Oh, he didn't eat it. It's Morty's. Papa, it's Morty's. Would you try it? No? Okay, I guess he doesn't like Asian pear. Are you sure? He's eaten pear before, but it's his first time trying this kind. Okay, one last time. One last try. Do you know it's right here? Okay, I don't think he likes it. That's a no from hey. Morty. We had to perform nail trims earlier, so I gave them some willow chews as a peace offering. Do you think Morty will chew that whole stick without dropping it once? Cinnamon Bun actually ate it Morty style too. Her piece was smaller though. Anyway, we all hate nail trims and we often procrastinate, which isn't good. It's important to keep their nails trimmed.
because overgrown nails can be dangerous. Cinnamon Bun tried to steal Morty's stick, but the other human came out of the study and alarmed her. Morty's still on the path to finishing his stick without dropping it once. He did it. Nail trim is done. Cinnamon Bun just got her nails trimmed. She looks defeated. But she's usually not as difficult as Mori. Mori just finished his nail trimming. He struggled a little, but he did okay. I thought his eyes might pop out. Mori's eyes didn't pop out. And now the bunnies are happy again. They'll be good for a few months, until their next dreaded nail trimming. <laughs>